made it to the way we were going to moor actually now. Um, but I've decided that we're going to go all the way to Stourton today. Yeah, we've decided otherwise we've got to do really, really long cruises through Birmingham. I don't the next cruise will be like nine miles and 23 locks when we get back. So mm. now we can cut that down. Cut that down a bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're gonna go through through Kinver. Um, we don't really like Kinver for very obvious reasons. If you've watched on the channel for ages. Yeah, if you watched us from the beginning, um, that's where Kinver is where we got Tabitha. Tabitha was killed by a greyhound. Yeah. Took her. So if you watch, if you've been watching us for a long time, it's a bit of a sad place. So we mm. don't really want to walk. It's such a beautiful spot there as well. She's we've. Um, we buried her there, yeah. so, but, yeah, but if you, obviously you wouldn't know if you've only been watching a little while, but we just want to get through that, Josh, don't we? Yeah, I just hope we don't see the woman. Yeah. <laughs> really, I hope we see the woman. Um, so, yeah, it's about four more miles and eight more locks, but it's a lovely, it's turned out lovely now. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is the thing with the staff of Woods, we, we did love it, it's absolutely beautiful, yeah. that ruined it for us, that happened like two years ago now so this is the map of the canal network everything in red is what we've done and we're here at Consul on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire canal and today we're heading from Consul up in through Kinver to Stourton and then up onto the Stourbridge canal with a total of eight locks and four miles it's a two-day mooring anyway guys we've got to be here for like two weeks 12 days What was the sound of our internet antenna scraping? Very low bridge.
Ow! <laughs> Well, it's lucky they want a boat waiting to calm down because we have literally no room to turn. Why are there so many boats named Josh? No, it's not. Someone's just filled it straight away. Oh, just I knew that was going to happen. We were doing so well. Well, we just uh, came through. Oh, what lock was that? Oh. Hide. That was hide lock. Um, annoyingly, we thought, oh yeah, the lock's gonna be on our side again. <laughs> and what good luck is what this? Good luck. Yeah. And then someone just he turned the corner, and there's a boat, another boat coming yeah. down after him, and he's filled the lock up already. <laughs> but um, I, I done it. Uh, I went up there this time. Yeah. I just told him to go on. It's a weird, funny guy because they're nice enough, but I said, I'll just go on your boat if you want. And he said, Yeah, oh, okay, thanks. And he's the boat's in the lock going what's down. It, down. <laughs> Good thing. The boat's in the lock going down. He's on the roof, polishing the roof. He's on the side, polishing the windows. Is he going like? Weird, what? what would you do when you go? I don't know whether other people The good do thing it. is though, we passed the ABC boat, so they're moored up and uh, um, cause they they would be going up Starbridge as well. They they would be doing a ring back to Elf Church. Um, but we're at the uh, spot now, the beautiful spot. Everyone loves this spot. But for us it's yeah. it's got a tragic past, obviously. Yeah. Where, um, you can't actually watch the video. I'm not going to put it I public. Think you've, I think you've taken the video down. Yeah, it's you? private. You can't watch it. Because yeah. I don't. I just, I just don't we want to remind you. We never even watch a video because we don't no. want to get upset. It's like so emotional. Like Andy carrying Tabitha yeah. back. You know, it's just just moored around there. We were. She's buried just over there. Yeah. Mother's there's Day. It's a big lock, isn't there? Right. Yeah, a bit. Mother's Day it was. I was talking to my mum, yeah. wishing her happy Mother's Day. At the front, at the front of the boat, and then this Tabitha came running by the side, and this greyhound jumped on the boat and took her. Took her, yeah. And shook her. And I, and I tried to chase the greyhound, but obviously greyhounds are built for yeah. running and racing. Lovely, lovely jogger, jogger lady. And uh, I sort of fainted. I yeah, went she fainted right in front of me. So yeah, shot. it's just not a nice spot, and um, no. we just want to get through it and forget about it. Yeah. But poor old Tabitha's buried over there. Anyway, let's go get through.
Bloody typical. It's lucky we absolutely slammed it in reverse and kept reversing because the guy in this boat just kept coming. Psychic feeling again. I honestly couldn't think of a worse place to meet a boat today. Unloading. <laughs> right, we've now come to Stourton Junction and it's quite a awkward hard right turn onto yeah. the Star Bridge Canal. We had to get over to the lock landing because there was a boat coming down, which was good actually. So the lock should be on our side. There's like this little branch that comes off in between lock one and two. It looks like there's some end of garden moorings here. Shame they don't turn us into a nice little mooring basin. <laughs>
<laughs> no. I recognise that boat any day of the week. Looks like it's finally gone off the Montgomery after two years. Uh, sunken boat still here. I guess it's becoming a feature now, isn't it? I quite like it anyway. We're going for a scout now, see if we can more, let's just hope there's not go down here because uh, that there's quite far away from the parking and it's not a very good spot, it's on a really busy road. But down here is a little lane you can go down, but the mooring, it's not so good I don't think. So this is where I want to moor because there's parking just on that bridge. But, um, as you can see, it's not Armco. Also, got to do a depth test. Okay. Not that deep, is it? Just about moorable, I'd say. So you can park here. There's some armco here, which seems to be, you know, it's not too far. And it looks, uh, looks deeper where that, those reeds are, it's so shallow. So I have to calculate the distance between that car park and where we are moored, and that one back there and here. Same with baby Noah. Yeah, this is him, though, in... He's oxygen. Yeah, this is a bit frightening, but I think he's, um, I think he's doing okay. Due to different for I haven't spoken to Amy properly yet, but it looks like, um, he needed oxygen. And also, because Amy's got diabetes, his sugar levels were zero this morning when he yes. was born. So that means they've had to give him a sugar drip. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. It's funny, I calculated the distance. <laughs> it's the exact same distance. 2.8 of a mile. So 0 0.28 of a mile from this car park down there. And uh, that little bit of arm I found in the next car park, which is better. So we're going to move. pretty clear you can see the lilies yeah. everyone's coming out but the little kitten wants to but he's not allowed It's only because of not sleeping last night, I'm yeah. just exhausted. We, we, about eight and a half hours? Yeah, eight and a half. It's five o'clock now, we'll five start off at half eight. Yeah. Didn't even so throw out the same day. <laughs> I don't know what the kitten's doing right behind the camera at the moment. Who is the, is the camera? Um, um Jinx. Uh, um, oh. we, we, yeah, we moved on a little bit. Yeah, we did, we were in one spot, but Josh, got a better spot didn't you you've rode the bike along yeah well it's the same distance as i said from that car park as it is from where we were to the other car park and this car park's better the only trouble is we're, we're going to go down sunday but andy will have to come back because he'll have to get some cat biscuits and things to sort the cats out so we can't exactly meet him at the van can we josh but i think we're only about half an hour from andy's work here aren't we yeah so which is good 
news. Mm. He hasn't got far to drive. And then, yeah, it'll only be about half five they get here now. We have to head down, which will be about three hours drive. And he has managed to get Thursday off, so yeah. it gives us a few more days. Well, Andy and Josh a few more days, because the thing is, I don't know when Amy will be coming out of hospital. Not sure. It all depends if Noah's okay. Mm. And that, and she's okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to stay here for probably like two, uh, 12 days, two weeks, something like that. You're allowed two weeks yeah. anyway. It's, so uh, it's, not not a, it's not a two day spot or five day no. spot or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was a lovely cruise. Met some nice people. Yeah. I had some close calls. <laughs> um, coming, yeah, coming through a bridge. Mm. Again, round a, round a blind bend, coming through a bridge. And um, yeah, I saw Carol. a bow. I saw a bow. Then I did yeah. blast my horn. <laughs> Probably should have blasted my horn just before, but we're on the Starbridge Canal now. Yeah, and very close to Birmingham, but it is safe here. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's a lovely mm. canal. This one. We've been on it before, but oh, the ta- ABC. I ta- told you the ABC would be. Turn around, They're just one. stopping for lunch. The ABC. Yeah, just coming past now, guys. Mm. Did we? We turned around last time from here, didn't yeah, we? Yes, so we went, went up down the. To Starbridge, there's a little yeah. arm that goes down to Starbridge, no locks. You remember seeing the locks? Yeah. That we didn't go up? Yeah. Then we're going up then this time. Into uh, the depths. Yeah, of yeah because we went Wolverhampton flight, didn't we, last time? Yeah. 21 Wolverhampton, 21. Anyway, like, subscribe. <laughs> yes. And we'll see you next time because I'm about to run out of car stories. See you later. <laughs> Bye.